Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. In today's lesson, we'll talk about cash book entry. So let's open SQL Accounting System. Go to GL, cash book entry is over here. For cash book entry, as long as there's payment and receipt that related to bank or cash, which is not related to your customer and supplier, you should do over cash flow entry, not the journal entry, because over here it's easier for you to do the checking and so on. So if you know the voucher number or official receipt number, you can use them to search for your previous transaction. For example, 52, and this is a PB52. Or you can use the description to search. Maybe it's a number. So you can see that this actually is a customer payment, which will which you do under the customer payment, which and then later will be posted over to the cash book entry. You can even use the check number to do a searching. Okay, else you can do the field chooser by right click on any of the column title, select field chooser and drag out the field that you want, for example, area, just drag and drop, okay, then you can drag back all the unused column. So over here you need to take note is, can you see the new button, there's an arrow down, <laughs> click the arrow down and this is where you can select the payment voucher or official receipt. I'll do an example for payment voucher. So basically what you can do over here is you just type who you want to pay to but this is only the description there's no double entry over this field let's say we do for uh, ABC printing okay we can type in the this is the supplier name then the invoice number and the date of the invoice For what purpose? Let's say print. Now, what you want to pay? You want to pay by the bank or cash? You can select over here. So this will be your credit side. And here you can type the check number. Click the plus sign where you select the account. And if you still remember, you can directly use the account name to search. For example, printing. But when you type the account description and it does not come up, it's because your focus now is not at description. Can you see the code is bold? That means your focus is at bold. What you need to do is clear off what you have typed. Then at, on your keyboard, just tap, type the, press the tab key. It will jump to description. Then you just type the account. If you cannot remember the full name, just click the A over here and make the A in the middle. So you type anything that appear in any part of the description, it will appear. For example, I'll do printing because we will. okay. So the description from here will actually go to the bottom as a description also. So the amount you want to pay. And over here you need to select the text code. So that's why in GST you need to understand the text code else you may select a wrong text code then later on you will have a wrong calculation of GST and they call this is called incorrect return then you might face penalty for 50,000 ringgit or 3 years jail or both so text code is very very important and I normally say you normally will not make mistake in sales and purchase because we have the three level checking but for expenses this will be your challenge. Which tax code to be used? Um, is this invoice a simplified tax invoice or a full tax invoice? If simplified tax invoice, then do I need to separate into two lines, even for one view? Okay. So all these things you must understand in order for you to do your expenses correctly. So let's say this is a TX. Then you can see the calculation of GST will be calculated automatically. 
or if this transaction is a tax inclusive you just take the tax inclusive or you have another item or account printing uh, stationery for example so you just type maybe this is from a non-registered person so you just click the save button then you can click the preview button to print out the payment voucher okay so this is how you do a payment voucher for official receipt it's exactly the same thing only for official receipt now you are received in bank or cash then this is from what account so this will be your debit received in this will be your credit so if you do have time do drop by at my facebook it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies help me to like my page or you want to watch others SQL tutorial video just go to my website it's syntax.com.my click on youtube and you can have all the others SQL accounting system tutorial video once again i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you